In this video, we will talk about the basic components of the human digestive system. Both physical and chemical digestion begin in the mouth or the oral cavity, which is the point of entry of food into the digestive system. The food is broken into smaller particles by the chewing action of the teeth. The chemical process of digestion begins during chewing as food mixes with saliva produced by the salivary glands. The chewing and wetting action provided by the teeth and saliva prepare the food into a mass called the bolus for swallowing. The tongue helps in swallowing, moving the bolus from the mouth into the pharynx. The pharynx opens to two passageways, the esophagus which leads to the stomach and the trachea which leads to the lungs. The epiglottis covers the tracheal opening during swallowing to prevent food from entering the lungs. The chewed food after being swallowed passes through the esophagus, a tubular organ that connects the mouth to the stomach. The smooth muscles of esophagus undergo peristalsis that pushes the food toward the stomach. Ring-like muscles called sphincters form valves in the digestive system. The gastroesophageal sphincter is located at the stomach end of the esophagus. In response to swallowing and the pressure exerted by the bolus of food, this sphincter opens and the bolus enters the stomach. When there is no swallowing action, this sphincter is shut and prevents the content of the stomach from travelling up the esophagus. An acid reflux occurs when the acidic digestive juices escape into the esophagus. Protein digestion is carried out by an enzyme called pepsin in the stomach chamber. Chemical digestion is facilitated by the contraction and retraction of the smooth muscles. The partially digested food and gastric juice mixture is called chyme. Chyme moves from the stomach to the small intestine, the organ where the digestion of the protein, fats and carbohydrates is completed. The small intestine is a long, tube-like organ with a highly folded surface containing finger-like structures called villi. The epithelial cells of these structures absorb nutrients from the digested food and release them to the bloodstream on the other side. The villi and microvilli increase the surface area of the small intestine that increases absorption efficiency of the nutrients. The human intestine is over 6 meters long and is divided into three parts the duodenum, the jejunum and the ileum. Pancreatic juices contain several digestive enzymes that break down starches, disaccharides, proteins and fats. Bile is produced in the liver and stored and concentrated in the gallbladder. It enters the duodenum through the bile duct. Bile contains bile salts which make lipids accessible to the water-soluble enzymes. The large intestine reabsorbs the water from indigestible food material and processes the waste material. The human large intestine is much smaller in length as compared to the small intestine but larger in diameter. It is divided into three parts, the cecum, the colon and the rectum. The colon has four regions, the ascending colon, the transverse colon, the descending colon and the sigmoid colon. The main functions of the colon are to extract the water and mineral salts from the undigested food 
and to store waste material. The rectum stores feces until defecation. The feces are propelled using peristaltic movements during elimination. The anus is an opening at the far end of the digestive tract and is the exit point for the waste material.